Hello friends, I am Dr. Prashant Sharma and you are watching Medico's Hub. This is my second lecture on neuromuscular transmission and I am going to discuss the concept of end plate potential and the miniature end plate potential. Normally, when impulse arrives at the exon terminal, then the vesicles fuse with the plasma membrane of exon terminal and neurotransmitters are released that involve the ACHR. In this process roughly 60 to 200 synaptic vesicles are involved and each vesicle releases about 2000 to 10,000 acetylcholine molecules. So this stimulates the acetylcholine receptors at the motor end plate and finally sodium enters the muscle fiber. This entry of sodium develops a membrane potential which is depolarizing in nature. And this membrane potential is known as end plate potential. End plate potential is basically a type of graded potential. So it will show decremental conduction that is its amplitude or magnitude will die or decrease along with time and the distance but it is quite sufficient to stimulate the voltage gated sodium channels on sarcolem which will finally lead to development of action potential. So this is end plate potential. Now what is miniature end plate potential? Even when the neuromuscular junction is at rest or the neuron, motor neuron is at rest, then also vesicles continue to fuse with the axonal membrane and release the neurotransmitter. Usually one vesicle fuses and this will also involve some acetylcholine receptors. So some quantity of sodium will enter and will give rise to small depolarizing values which are known as miniature end plate potential. These are in range of 0.1 millivolt to 0.4 millivolts. Amplitude is, is in this range and these are also depolarizing. So end plate potential is produced when the action potential arrives and the miniature end plate potential is produced when the motor fiber is at rest or neuromuscular junction is not working. Usually 60 to 200 synaptic vesicles are fused with the axonal membrane. Here only one or usually one synaptic vesicle fuses with the axonal membrane. It is of high amplitude, it is of low amplitude. Its amplitude is 0.1 millivolt to 0.4 millivolt which will not give rise to action potential and it is quite a strength, it is having sufficient strength to initiate the action potential. So this is the EPP and MEPP. In next video we will discuss the blockage of neuromuscular transmission at presynaptic and postsynaptic levels. Hit the like button, share and subscribe our channel to get the latest updates and notifications.